Hey everyone, follow me here. On this episode, we'll go over the fusion cell farm at Archet facility and how we can use the carry weight exploit to accumulate not just thousands in fusion cells, but also high value weapons and materials worth tens of thousands of caps without being overcumbered. The fusion cell ammo farm is unlocked through the fire support quest which you can pick up when you're near the Cambridge police station through the Brotherhood of Steel's recon team led by Paladin Dance. Make sure you have a companion, I chose Cotsworth because he's available very early on the game but any companion will do in order to take advantage of the carry weight exploit. We can also pick up a power armor set just east of Grey Garden, located on this overpass by the Crash Vertibird. Instead of going guns blazing through the hordes of ghouls and landmines, we'll go around through the back of the police station instead. If you're low level or playing survival, let Paladin Dance tank the waves of ghouls. The power armor does come in handy for this part. Clearing the police station will complete the fire support quest, once inside the police station, you will start the quest Call to Arms, taking you and Paladin Dance to the Engine Core test chamber inside Arc Jet, which is only accessible through this quest. Before proceeding, I would recommend investing some points on Scrounger. Rank 1 increases your chance by 40% to find ammunition in various containers other than steamer trunks and dead enemies. Rank 2 increases your chance by 70% and Rank 3 gives you a guaranteed 100% chance. Different types of ammo will spawn depending on your level and with the amount of sins Paladin Dance will massacre, it goes without saying why this perk would optimize your fusion cell farm. I also recommend getting Scrapper, which allows for a greater variety of components to be gained when scrapping weapons, armor and settlement objects in your workshop. Higher ranks allow rarer components to be collected and rank 3 approximately doubles it, sometimes even double plus 1 of the yield. Arc Jet has a weapons and armor workbench we can utilize before accessing the engine test chamber and after completing Calls to Arms quest. Since we'll be collecting hundreds of energy weapons, this gives us the option to scrap them for valuable and rare components. ArcJet does have a lot of valuable items and components if you take your time to look around, like this expert safe and terminal in the weapons and armor workbench area. You will also find a Tesla Science magazine granting 5% more critical damage on energy weapons, along with an advanced wall safe. And if you make a right and follow the open floor path, you'll also find a Nova safe with more goodies inside. Once inside the engine core chamber, there are a couple of hidden rooms we can access with some well-timed jumps or you can wait until after the power is restored and use the elevator for easier access. You will find a fat man, an expert terminal, and an expert save that can be opened by looting the ArcJet password on the top of this shelf. Interacting with these items does spawn two synths, so be prepared for that. The other room just has a skeleton with a hard hat and a 10mm pistol. Now that we've scavenged everything there is to get, we can start setting up our fusion cell farm. Jump down and proceed to the control room to collect the junk jet weapon, its holotape and the fusion core before restoring the power to activate the engine test. This will trigger an onset of never ending sin spawns. As long as you stay in this room and don't interact with neither synths nor paladin dance, do not press the big red button. Close this door for good measure and the longer you stay, the more loot you will collect. Paladin dance is an essential character so he will never die. A few moments later. This encounter will continue until you either activate the engine and burn all the synths or you go in the testing chamber to assist Paladin Dance which will stop the synths from spawning. Loot everything you can get your hands on and don't worry about being overcumbered. 
Some weapons have ammo inside, so even if you're just here exclusively for fusion cells, you ought to loot the weapons as well. Transfer as many weapons and junk as your companion can carry. Then, drop the rest of the items and order your companion to pick them up. This will override your companion's carry weight capacity. I sat here for about 45 minutes and this is the result. I got almost 6,000 fusion cells, hundreds of energy weapons, as well as some batons and synth armor. Once you're set, take the elevator and clear the last group of synths. Collect the deep range transmitter, loot the end of dungeon steamer trunk and take the elevator. At the end of this hallway you'll find some junk items along with a pipe pistol, two vodkas and a first aid kit. Speak to Paladin Dance to complete Call to Arms quest. He'll reward you with the Righteous Authority legendary weapon. From here, you can either head to your main base and start selling these weapons or head back to the weapons and armor workbench inside Arcjet if you want to break down these weapons for valuable components. All in all, it's a fairly easy farm to pull off at a low level even if you don't have the Scrounger or Scrapper perk the payout is very significant. It is a one-time deal, so if you've missed it already, you can try it on your next playthrough. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.